Hello there, everybody. Let's just do um, a sort of a work-related trivia video, if you like. Let's start off with yesterday, uh, which was Thursday, the 29th of September 2022. We had our pay ballot um, at Arriva London North. And as you can see here, the totals in red at the bottom, it was accepted. We did accept the pay deal, 701 in favour, 533 against. Um, the deal was 11 point, uh, sorry, 11% from the 14th of October and back pay was set at uh, 10% and that goes back to April. So the back pay is round about £2,000 depending on how much you've earned this year so far. And going forward, the, the pay increase is between, I don't know, between £60 and £90 pounds a week again depending on the shifts that you work and whatever overtime you've done a lot of people are not happy that that went through me personally i think that was a half decent deal um so i accepted that one but there's quite a lot of um bad feeling amongst uh, just a few hand ha a handful of drivers who feel it should have been rejected but that's why you have a ballot that's why you have a vote the majority win and the majority felt that it was a good enough deal now, yesterday, the M25 was shut between Waltham Abbey and um, Enfield, so all the traffic was coming through Enfield, and everywhere was totally gridlocked. So I took over my first bus at uh, 35 minutes late. It was showing Enfield Highway. I'll show you the duty card a bit later. It was showing Enfield Highway, and uh, so my first turn of the day was into here, I couldn't actually get here in time to leave on time. I was still late departing. Um, so that made the, the journey still late on the return journey. Enfield Town was gridlocked. So by the time I got back to the other side of Enfield, I was half an hour late again. So that got me a turn into Palmer's Green Garage. And uh, worked my way back up to Enfield Island Village. Traffic at ease by then. So turn round back to Turnpike Lane where you run it in light for your break. Second half was interesting. Um, took over on time towards Island Village. Um, and Mollison Avenue, which is a road that runs sort of up the side of Enfield for all the traffic to miss out the residential areas. That was shut for some kind of roadworks. So you've got all the HGVs and all the cars and everything going down Ordnance Road. And it's just not wide enough. You can't get two buses past each other down that road. So trying to get two HGVs through there is impossible. And two became stuck. And so I sat there for 45 minutes. I was 45 late onto Island Village. I only had uh, that one last round trip to do. So that got me a curtailment into Southgate. Very rare to get a curtailment into Southgate. But still nice to have it. Here's the uh, log card where you put the lost mileage down. You put the running number in the left-hand column there. So my first half it was 225, second half was 228. Location, well it was en route so there's no location, there's no stopped or resumed because it's a gradual loss of time, although I suppose with the bottom one it could have gone down as Ordnance Road but you don't do it for traffic. The mileage lost, well the first one was as I say Enfield Highway Red Lion up to Ireland Village. The second containment was Palmer's Green Garage to Turnpike Lane, and the third containment, as I've just explained, was Southgate to Turnpike. You put a little R in a circle, that means you lost the mileage both ways. Sometimes it is possible just to lose mileage in a single direction, but in this case it was both ways. Trip numbers go in there. Cause was T for traffic, and at the end there, the, uh, the iBus controller must give you a reference, and it matches up with the log card. So that's your authorization to make the curtailment. I did say that I would show you the uh, duty card. Here it is. I don't like these duties with um, a long first half. This is a massive, almost five and a half hours first half if you factor in the signing on time as well. I don't like that. Not on a late shift. You're out there in the thick of it right up until 10 past nine. Much better to have an earlier break while it's still bad out there and then you go back and things are quietened down first half then take over at 15.48 highlighted in green on the lower half 
Should have gone to Ireland Village for 16.17, leave there at 24. Where's the stand time there? You're taking over at the tail end of the schools coming out and there's no recovery time. And they wonder why you're late leaving the village, even under normal circumstances. Back to Turnpike for 17.57, 10 on the stand. Well, again, that's not enough because five of that is mine. You're entitled to five minutes to check your bus over, to stretch your legs, to go to the toilet, whatever you want to do. So there's only five minutes recovery time there. Again, that's not enough. Back up to the village for 19.32, decent amount of stand time there. 19.45 out of the village. Into Turnpike Lane for 20.52 and then 20 minutes to run it back light to Ponder's End. Again, that's not enough. You need 23, 24 minutes. Okay, I'm quibbling over three or four minutes, but it's not enough to get back on time for your break. Second half, again, highlighted in green, 22.12. Up to uh, Island Village, 15 on the stand. Back to Turnpike, no stand time there really, but you don't need it at night. In at 23.37, leave Turnpike at 23.45. And then back up to Island Village for 0035. And then 10 minutes to run light back to the garage. And then when you get back to the garage, you can't get in. They're all queuing on the road. Uh, it was 1 o'clock when I finished last night, or 0059 to be exact. So that's a 14 minute overtime docket. It's, and this shift is too long as it is. You don't need to be finishing late like that. Anyway, that's a little video um, of how the shift went yesterday. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.